Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bukhala and today in this video we're going to discuss the five ways you can manage academic stress and social life. Welcome back again guys. So before we go to discuss today's topic, I would like to say thank you to Bumi, Ngozi, Babalola, Kayode, Esther and Ayiba Tony for taking time out to comment on my last video, Business Lessons You Can Learn From Ego Traders. Thank you so much for the support. If you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, please, please, please take the time out to click the subscribe button below. So today we're going to be trying something different. I'm actually going to be answering questions that some viewers have sent to me via DM. And this question is, how do you manage academic stress and social life? So before I start, I would like to say I am not a healthcare professional. I am not a therapist. I am not a physician. And everything I'll be saying today is based on my own personal experience. If you're experiencing any problem, my advice would be to seek the appropriate healthcare professional if you need one. I chose this topic today because I've gotten this question for more than five different people. So I feel it's best to try and answer this question for my student audience. Last thing before we start, I am not actually a symbol of a party life. My friends actually call me a nerd, can you imagine? But if I'm actually being honest, I'm actually a nerd. I say all this to say, Everything I'll be speaking about today will be based on my own personal experience. First thing first, you have to be true to yourself and answer the question, why am I in school? I know this seems like a very simple question, but it's a question you have to answer. What is the reason why you've chosen to study in this school? What is the reason you've chosen this particular course? Not what your family reason is, not what your friends want you to do. What is your reason? What is the reason you've chosen this course? What is your end goal and what is the need for you? You have to try and be completely honest with yourself because this is going to save you a lot of time wasting and allow you to figure out what is important. Answering this question also creates a perspective for you and when academics might get tough, this would be your inspiration to pull through. People have different reasons for being in school and this is perfectly okay. Some people are in school to have fun, others might be in school to actually make a difference in their chosen field, others might be in school to fulfill all righteousness. So you have to check what reason you are in school and make sure that you know your purpose for being there. And I understand that not everyone gets to study the course of their dream, but you have to find a meaning in the course you're studying just so you can be able to pull through and get to the end. The next way you can manage academic stress and social life is actually to create a schedule for yourself. Yes, you have to create a to-do list. This would actually help you be focused because as a student, you have lots of work and lots of activities. Creating a to-do list or a schedule is actually going to help you to be focused. You'll be able to write out your different lectures, your different activities, your daily plans, your weekly plans, the whole semester plan. And this would help you know what activity you should be doing at every particular time. So for someone like me, I always have a diary. I always write a schedule of everything I have to do. So at the beginning of every semester, I have a huge planner that have dates of my tests, my exams, all the things I have to do and subsequently I have daily schedules and weekly schedules so my daily schedule if you ever look at it when I was in undergrad it would be so funny because I write things like oh thermodynamics lecture from here to here strength of material lectures from here to here then making cakes attending the friends party just different things but I make sure that I schedule it in just so that I know where I'm supposed to be at every time providing a daily schedule a weekly schedule or actually a monthly schedule provides you with the ability to know when you should be studying and also when you should be attending a social event. Please do not forget to schedule in time to rest and just time to relax in general because you have to be fair to yourself. Obviously, if you have exam in a couple of days, that would not be the best time to schedule an out-of-state party. The next point is you have to attend all your lectures. So you have to attend all your lectures to get a good chance of passing all your assessments. When you attend your lectures, you get key informations that might not be available anywhere else. You may be able to understand your lecturer as an examiner and look out for what is important to them. I'm actually speaking from my own personal experience from teaching undergraduate and master level courses. 
and I also know some lecturers. So lecturers tend to give you hints of areas of focus for your exams and tests and you only get to hear these when you attend the lecture or if you're lucky enough to get a recording of the lecture. Because in general lecturers don't like when their students fail. If you're in class and you hear your lecturer say something like, I think you should pay emphasis to this topic. I feel it's your duty to study the topic as best as you can because it's most likely to be the area of focus for your assessment. I know most of us might have different experiences. So if you feel there's a lecturer you know that actually wants your student to fail, please let me know down in the comment section below. Attending lectures is actually good because when you attend lectures, you might not have to read as someone who didn't attend any lecture and don't know the core areas of focus for that particular exam. So it helps you make time for social life. Another way to manage academic stress and social life is to keep the right friends. As the famous saying goes, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. This is true. I realize that this is true from my own personal experience. Remember when I told you guys that I'm a nerd? I realized one day that actually all my friends are actually nerds. So one day I was having a conversation with a group of my friends and I quickly realized that we spoke about sciences, we spoke about the Big Bang Theory, I actually love that show. We spoke about politics and business and I quickly realized why people used to call us boring during undergrad. Let me go back to my point. So your friends will actually influence your success or failure during school. I know this might not be what you want to hear but it is true. If you have friends that have similar priorities as you, it would help you because all of you have the same goals. When it's time to party together, you guys are partying together but when it's time for you guys to study, you guys come together as a group to study. I have a lot of personal examples on this point but what I could tell you is that my family and my friends have been my support system throughout my academic journey. If you also surround yourself with friends who have similar values as you, you guys will grow together. They would understand you and not pressure you to do things that are out of your character. The final way I feel you can manage academic stress and social life is to find time to relax and rest. I know as students there are lots of work to do but you have to find time to relax and rest because if you're stressed you will actually never get anything done. For me, when I find out that I've been reading one page for the last four hours, I actually stop and try to rest. I try to sleep or watch a movie. I actually do anything, cook anything that will actually make me rest. Do not forget, even as a student, you have the duty to take care of your mental health. So the five ways I feel students can manage academic stress and social life is firstly by understanding why they are in school. The next point is to create a schedule for their lecture or their activities throughout the semester or throughout the year. Then you have to make sure you're attending all your lectures so that you can get key information to help you study. Then you have to make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right friends. And finally, please do not forget to rest and take care of your mental health. So I want to say thank you to everybody who's watched till the end of this video. If you agree or disagree with me, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also, if you have something to add to what I've said, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you also like for me to make a part two to this video, please let me know. I hope you've learned something today. If you're new here and you have not subscribed to my channel, please take the time out to subscribe to my channel. And I want to say thank you to those of you who subscribed to my channel so far and are taking the time out to comment on my videos. Thank you. Please also like and share this video and don't forget to click the notification bell so you always know when I upload. Thanks guys. See you next week. Bye guys.